welcome dear students to this class today we are going to discuss about linear equations in two variables part 3 in which we will discuss graph of a linear equation in two variables before going going to discuss this let's revisit what we have learnt earlier linear equation in two variables as we discussed any equation like uh, in the form of x plus by plus c equal to zero is said to be linear equation in two variables and solution of linear equation in two variables where for which values of the variables x and y the equation is satisfied that is the solution of linear equation in two variables and also you have learned how to identify a point on the graph of a Cartesian plane. So first of all let us see what we have gone through. Consider the solution of the equation 2x plus 3 equal to 0. You have solved this problem and you know this equation has unique solution that is x is equal to minus 3 by 2. And how to represent it in a number line? We can represent it in a number line like this a number line is drawn as we know minus 3 by 2 is a number in between minus 1 and minus 2 so it is given here in between minus and minus 2 that is minus 3 by 2 now let's see the geometrical representation of the solution of the linear equation in one variable in one dimension what we see before. Now in case of linear equation in two variables it is not possible to represent its solution in one dimension that means in a number line. Then what to do? We have to represent it on a Cartesian plane. What is a Cartesian plane? A plane is divided into four parts by two perpendicularly intersecting number lines and the point of intersection is called the origin. Each part is called a quadrant and what are the line called? Each number line is called an axis. Let us have a look to a Cartesian plane. Here you see, here is a Cartesian plane. We have two number lines. One is horizontal and is vertical. The horizontal axis is called x axis and the vertical axis is called y axis. Now, this is the origin. From origin to right side, the numbers are positive and from origin to left side, the numbers are negative. Similarly, from origin to upwards in y axis, the numbers are positive and from origin to downward, the numbers are negative. Now, we have four quadrants. In quadrant 1, the x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is positive. Now, you see in the second quadrant, as the x is negative so x is negative and y is positive and in third quadrant the x is negative and y is also negative i mean and in fourth quadrant see x is positive and y is negative so we can say both x and y have positive and negative signs now, this shows the points how to 
put a point on the Cartesian plane. Now see, geometrical representation of equation x plus 2y is equal to 7. That means, geometrical representation of the equation means to plot the graph of this equation. For that, what to do? We have to find three solutions of x plus 2y is equal to 7. For example, 1, 3, that means if you put the value of x as 1 and value of y as 3, we will get in its value to be 7. So, 1, 3 is one of its solution. Similarly, if we put the value of x as minus 1 and put the value of y as 4, then 4 into 2 gives 8, 8 minus 1 gives 7. So, minus 1, 4 is a solution to this. And again, 3 and 2, so x is 3 and y is 2, so 2 into 2 is 4 plus 3 gives 7, so 3, 2 is also another solution to this equation. After getting this solution, what to do? We have to plot these as points on Cartesian plane and join the points. Let us have a look to the graph. Here it is a graph paper in which two axes are drawn and here we have taken 1 centimeter to be 1 distance from the origin. Now have a look to our solution. If we put the find the point 1 and 3 that means you can see that in x axis the value 1 is written somewhere and 3 is written somewhere. So when both the both of them meet that point gives 1 3. This is one of our solution. So let us see another solution that is minus 1 and 4. And let us have a look to the third solution that is 3 and 2. Now, if we have 3 points, 3 solutions and that is represented as 3 points on this graph and if, if we join them, we can see that they lie on a straight line. So, we can say that the equation of this line is the, uh, is a, the graph of this equation is the straight line AB. Now find, let us find another point and what is the coordinate of this point. To find the coordinate of this point, draw a perpendicular line from that point to the x axis. We can see that meets x axis at minus 3. So, its x coordinate is minus 3. From that point, if you count 1 centimeter to 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter upward, we can see that the y coordinate is 5. So, the uh, coordinates of this point is minus 3, 5. Let us have a look to another point here. What is the coordinate of this point? Here, the uh, coordinate of this point is 4 and 1.5 because from origin to right side, it meets at 4 and from that to upward, we can see it is 1.5. Now, if we put the values of minus 3, 5 and 4, 1.5, what will happen? Let us see to this whether they are solution or not. Our equation was x plus 2y is equal to 7. Here the points are minus 3 and 5. So put these values here. So 
minus 3 plus 2 into 5. That gives minus 3 plus 10. So minus 3 plus 10 gives 7. This shows this minus 3 and 5 is a solution to this equation. Now, if we let's see what is the whether for 1.5 is a solution or not. x is 4 plus 2 into 1.5. This gives 4 plus 2 into 1.5 is 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. So for 1.5, this is also a solution to this equation. Now let's have a look. Find some more solutions of x plus 2y equal to 7 from the graph. Here you see, this is the graph, x plus 2y equal to 7, and the line is AB. Let's find some points where we can easily find the coordinates of those points. These points we can identify and now let's have their coordinates. The coordinate of this point is minus 2, 4.5. Note it, minus 2, 4.5. And another point is 0, 3.5, where x is 0 and y is 3.5. And the coordinates of the third point is 2, 2.5. Now let's have a look whether these points are solutions or not. We can say minus 2 plus 2 into 4.5. This gives minus 2 plus 9. That gives... 7. So, minus 2 and 4.5, this is a solution to our equation. And in second case, if we put the value of x as 0 and y as 3.5, we can see 0 plus 2 into 3.5, that gives 2 into 3.5 gives 7, so the value is 7. So 2, uh, so 0 and 3.5 is a solution. Now the third one is 2, 2.5. If we put the value of x as 2 and y as 2.5, then we have 2 plus that is 7. So, 2, 2.5 is also a solution. From this exercise, what did we get? Every point whose coordinates satisfy equation x plus 2y equal to 7, that is equation number 1, lies on the line AB. Okay? Next, every point AB with coordinates AB on the line AB gives a solution x equal to A, y equal to B of equation 1. Then, any point which does not lie on the line AB, coordinates of that point is not a solution of the equation. Here we studied that if the point satisfies the equation then that must lie on the point and any point on that line having some coordinates that will satisfy the equation. Let's conclude it. Coordinate of every point on the line satisfies the equation of the line and every solution of the equation represents a point on the line. 
let's have a uh, the graph of linear equation in two variable in Cartesian plane is a straight line. Here, as we saw from the previous solution, that the uh, graph of the linear equation is a straight line. And so, it is the name given to such type of equation that is x plus by plus c equal to 0, that is linear equation, where a and b, a and b both are not 0. So, it is named linear equation because if we draw the graph of the equation, it gives us a straight line. So, it is called a linear equation. Now, see geometrical representation of equation y is equal to 2x. For that, find three solutions of y equal to 2x. Let's have a look at the uh, solutions. If we put the value of x as 1, then value of y will be 2 into 1, that is 2. If the value of x is minus 1, then value of y is 2 into minus 1, that is minus 2. And if the value of x is minus 2, then value of y is minus 4. And after getting the solutions, we can put this as the points on the Cartesian plane and join the lines and join the points and then find coordinates of two points on the line and verify whether these are solutions to the equation or not. Now let's see this is the graph. In this graph we have taken the scale as 1 centimeter as 1 unit. The first point is 1, 2. That means when x is 1, y is 2. When x is minus 1, y is minus 2. And when x is minus 2, y is minus 4. Thus, we have three solutions and three points. If we join these, what do we get? We can get a straight line. That straight line passes through the origin. Now, let's take another point here that, that gives 2, 4. Now, you can uh, examine whether this is a solution or not. If you put the value of x as 2, it's solution its uh, value of y is 2 into 2 that is 4 so 2 4 is a solution origin it passes through the origin if we put the value of x as 0 then 2 into 0 gives 0 so 0 0 is also a solution to this equation now, this is a question, give the equation of two lines passing through 2, 1. How many such lines are there and why? One, two is a solution. So, the equation can be x plus y is equal to 3. If we put the value of x as 2 and put the value of y as 1, then 2 plus 1 gives 3. So, 2, 1 is a solution to this equation. Now, put the value as x plus 2y is equal to 4. If we put the value of x as 2, and put the value of y as 1 here, we have 2 plus 2 into 1, that is 4. So, 2, 1 satisfies also this equation, that is x plus 2y is equal to 4. Let's have a look, 3x minus y 
is 5. Now put this by values. 3 into 2 gives 6 minus 1 gives 5. So 2 1 is also uh, the solution of this equation. From this that means if we find all the graph of all these equations, all the equations will pass through the point 2 1. As you know that through a point infinitely many number of lines can be drawn and each line has an equation so we can say that uh, the given equation 2 1 has infinitely many lines of which this is a solution. Now let's see another uh, example. If the point 3 4 lies on the graph of the equation 3y is equal to ax plus 7 find the value of a. Now let's see the equation is 3y is equal to ax plus 7. What is the solution? Solution is 3 4. Now 3 into value of y is 4. So 3 into 4 is equal to a into what is the value of x? x is 3 plus 7. This gives 12 plus a into 3 that is 3a plus 7. This gives 12. This gives 12 minus 7 is equal to 3a. That gives 5 is equal to 3a. And from this we get a equal to 5 by 3. So for a equal to 5 by 3 we have the uh, 3, 4 lies on the graph of this equation. Let's have another uh, example. Here is a linear equation that converts Fahrenheit to Celsius. In your physics, you will see this type of equation that F is equal to 9 by 5 into C plus 32, where F stands for Fahrenheit and C stands for Celsius. These are the measures of temperature. And after finding, after getting the uh, graph, from that graph you have to find whether is there any temperature which is numerically the same in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. Let's have a plot the equation on a graph. Here is the graph and here the unit or the scale is taken like this. One centimeter is 10 degree that is uh, 10 units. It may be Celsius or Fahrenheit. If we put the values of centigrade in x-axis and put the values of Fahrenheit in y-axis, then we can plot the graph. As you know, here we can have a point 10, 50. Let's see whether f is equal to 9 by 5 c plus 32. If we put the value of C as 2, as 10, then what is F? F is equal to 9 by 5 into 10 plus 32. That gives 5 into 5 and 10 cancelled. This is 2. 9 into 2, that is 18 plus 32. That gives 50. So for this 
equation the solution is 10 50 so here we have seen that the point is 10 50 now let's see another point that is minus 15 if we put the value of c as minus 15 then what happens you see c is equal to minus 15 that means f is equal to 9 by 5 into minus 15 plus 32 that gives 5 minus 15 cancelled minus 3 so 9 into minus 3 that gives minus 27 plus 32 that is 5 so the solution to this equation is also minus 15 and 5 and to draw a straight line we need at least two points here we have two points now let's join these two points and get the straight line now if we study this straight line we can see that this line passes through a point in which both Fahrenheit and centigrade are equal that is the point the coordinates of that point is minus 40 minus 40 now if this is the point whether this satisfies this equation or not let's see if c is minus 40 then f is equal to 9 by 5 into minus 40 plus 32 that gives 5 into minus 40 cancelled that is minus 8 so 9 into minus 8 gives minus 72 plus 32 that is minus 40 this shows that minus 40 minus 40 is a solution to this equation and at this point minus at this number that is minus 40 both Fahrenheit scale and Celsius scale are equal. So in this session we learn how to represent a linear equation in a graph for that we have to find some solutions to the equation and from those solution plot the points on the graph paper and then join those points as this is linear equation from joining these points we will get a straight line as the graph of this uh, equation is a straight line so such type of equation that is of the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 where both a and b are not 0 such equations are called linear equations dear students today we complete here thank you